Hello, good evening. How is everybody? Hopefully well. Why can't I see my posts? I'm trying to hop on on my iPad so that I can, oh, here we go. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Um, why doesn't it show that I'm live? Interesting. You guys can see me. Okay. Hi in Australia. I'm doing well. Thank you, Kathy. How are you? So weird. I cannot. Oh, 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 there I am. Okay. Now I can see your guys' comments and go along with you. And you're going to get to hear my dog bark and craziness. And remember what I said? Like I told everybody a couple of weeks ago, we are making headway on um, my own space where I won't have to worry about dogs barking, people interrupting me, all of the, that jazz. But until that time, you're stuck with hearing the craziness of my life. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to apologize in advance. And that's it. Okay. Hey, Bev, how are you? Hello, hello. Hey, Heather, Anita, good to see everybody. Okay. So we are going to make a really cute little baggie today. This one here. And it's super simple. Stampin' Up! released these cool bags. Uh, the printed Gus printed gusseted cellophane bags. They are food safe, so you could put like candy or whatever directly in them. It's fine. How many comes in this pack? Let's see. It's three by nine, and there are 25 bags. So here's what one looks like. I just love them. They're part of the birthday bonanza suite, so I like to open mine all the way up, and so you can kind of almost create like a flat bottom like that. We're going to take a piece of this piece of paper. Let me remember what it's cut at. Yeah, eight and a half by, it's two and seven eighths. So eight and a half by two and seven eighths. And I'm gonna score the bottom of it. Did I score it at two or two and a half? Oh Lord helper. I think it's two. I want to say it's two. Okay. So this side is really gorgeous. This is the painted poppies designer series paper, but I really love this side too. And in my other one, I used this side. So in this one, I'm going to use this side and have it facing front. So all you do, I scored it at two inches. So it's eight and a half scored at two inches by two and seven eighths. I scored it there at the two inch and I'm going to slide this in and then flatten the bottom. So then you end up with this like bag, flattened bag. Now I don't like how this like sticks up. So my remedy for that is to use a piece of tear and tape. Hi Kathy, good to see you. Um, on the little flappy part, the technical term for it. And this is always a little bit difficult to do, to remove release paper when something is, okay. And then I fold it over, oops, get off there. Fold it over flat. And then I can go back in here and push this down and flatten it out and it will stick. So there's that. So I made my own shreddy. And the way I did that is I took, I used copy paper and I used to have a, um, 
desktop mini shredder and I could just put it in there. But um, I just, it didn't work very well. So I quit using it. So if you take copy paper, you can use, I got the, these are fringe scissors. Stampin' Up! used to sell them. They don't sell them anymore, but I know you can get them at other craft stores. So I used these and I just chopped up a whole bunch of fringe. Marianne says, I am a busy, busy woman. Yes, I am. That is not a lie. That is true talk. So I put it in this jar just to kind of like contain it. But I thought it would be fun to kind of crinkle it all up here on camera with you guys so you can see what I do with it. Because I don't like it to be straight. So then I kind of take it all apart. Get all that out of the way. And I crinkle it again. You could totally use your corrugated embossing folder to make some of this. Absolutely. I love shreddy. It makes me really happy and I feel like it makes packages and boxes just look so much better. So it's it's a big deal for me to like be able to make some. I have to have I have to have it when I do stuff like this. So I'm just gonna throw it in the bottom of this bag. Do 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 get back over here. And then I've got a bunch of random candies. So I have a jelly belly sucker. I'm going to try to put them in here somewhat cute. I've got a roll of Mentos fruit thingies. I don't know what you call them. I've got a purple sucker that I got online. These are really cool. They're square. I don't know what they taste like. I'm assuming grape, but they're really cute. I ordered them on Amazon. I've got a butter mint and then a dark chocolate raspberry Ghirardelli that I'm going to kind of smush down in the front there. And then I'm going to close the top just like kind of smush it together a little bit. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to make the topper. I've got a piece of <coughs> gorgeous grape cut at two what is this cut at? I can't remember now. Yeah, three and an eighth by four. So we're gonna score it at two. Scored at two. So three and an eighth by four, scored at two. Fold it in half. You should totally make some for your coworkers. They would love it. Okay, and then this is a stapler used to be a Stampin' Up! stapler. The manufacturer quit making them, but you can use any stapler, I promise. Any stapler will work. Okay, so here's a trick to this bag. If you stand it on end and pull it together and staple it, it's going to bend the back, see that? And it kind of like makes it so you can't see the DSP as well. If you hold it flat and push down, You, the front of your bag will be a little bit shorter. You can fold it over, slide your topper in place, and then staple. And what that does, I'm gonna do two staples, is it makes it so your bag will stand up and it, it keeps the back of your bag flat. So that's important to know. FYI, I didn't say this earlier. I sh dang it all. I should have said it earlier. If you're watching this on YouTube, that means that it's a recording and it's no longer live, just so you know. Hopefully, I get lots of comments on YouTube where people are like commenting, thinking that I'm hearing them and it's, yeah, I'm not. Okay, this is a die cut from the Stitch So Sweetly dies, which I love. And I'm using Gorgeous Grape ink to stamp happy birthday and then I'm gonna just go ahead and use oh my gosh I almost forgot a whole step ah hold on I need my ribbon ribbon this part this part's important so I'm gonna tie a ribbon around the top of here here 
You're welcome, Renee. That is a good tip. I'm not going to lie. I found it very useful when I came up with it myself because I kept folding the bag and it kept not standing up and it kept like being weird and like the paper was all bent down. And so finally I was like, how can I keep this from doing it? Oh, really easy. Just lay the thing flat. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tie a little bow here. We're using the white seam binding crinkle ribbon. So you would think that my, my daughter would hear my dog barking outside in the cold and it would occur to her to let the dog into the house. Nope. Nope. She'll just let her keep on barking and being cold. What is that? What is that about children? Oh, it sounds like they realized it. Somebody did. Okay, here's another dimensional. And I'm going to put this down on the top, kind of nestled under next to the bow. And then you never even see those staples. And then if the staples on the back bother you, you could always put another, which they are kind of pokey, you could put another piece of cardstock back there. This is the other one that I made. Your friendship is a blessing and this is a happy birthday one. Isn't that fun? So simple. For this one, I used the Peaceful Moments, Happy Birthday. And for this one, I used the So Sentimental. I love this stamp set. So that's it. I know, right? Who would have thought seam binding would look so pretty? I just love it. It looks great. So cute and simple. And honestly, like, there's not that much candy in the bag, but it looks and feels like a substantial amount of goodies. So that's it. Really, really, really simple. Really fun. I have a couple of giveaways, so I thought we would do those. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have a lot of the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. <laughs> So we're going to do another couple of giveaways of those two packs um, of the Bird Ballad. It's almost spring, so this will be great to have in your arsenal. Sorry about the dogs barking. Okay, so first winner is Kathy Cornea. Kathy is our first winner. Let me... write her name down and winner number two Marianne Mott okay so I need your address Marianne I don't think I have it so you'll need to message that to me or email it to me and we'll get this put in the mail to you guys all right Thanks so much for tuning in and watching. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your evening. And I'll catch you again live next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.